previously in Cyberpunk 2077. That's a cop. Episode 1, the railing in Corporal Plaza where David first sees Lucy. I've, I've improved at least a tiny bit. And I do mean a very tiny bit. Episode 2, the bench on the Santo Domingo waterfront where David and Lucy sit after visiting his ripper dock. Oh crap. Lost control. Ah. Oh. Episode 3, the parking lot in Japantown where the crew party after the gig. Oh my god! Outside entrance of Rebecca and Pilar's apartment. Episode 5, the base of operations for the BD editor JK. Ouch! This parking garage below the apartments where the crew were holding Tanaka. Did I just take the world's longest elevator ride? Pretty damn close. And now to continue. Well, I'm here. I might as well have a look around and see... If there's anything of value. Oh. You mean there's an apartment in here I can actually explore and... See what's what? This looks an awful lot like that place. Huh. Getting some awfully uh, strong deja vu vibes out of this place. I don't remember that room existing in the place that this reminds me of. Anyways. Pay or your head will explode. Implants for cheap. Need someone to watch your back. No thanks. Ah. Uh, I don't think I have enough money. Yeah, I'm still... What the hell was that? Talk about your weird flashes. Made me lose my train of thought. Yeah, right. Still kind of broke from those cybernetic upgrades I just got. Oh my god, yes. This is that place. The... It, it really is, like... One of my very first missions with Jackie, it, it was here. That's, that's the tub. Where we pulled the, 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 the half-dead girl out of the tub. How did I manage to find this apartment again? Too weird. All right, all right. And there's some loot here, hey. Few bullets. Those are probably some components. Scav ballistic vest. Or it's a bulletproof vest, okay. Oh yeah, I completely remember this place. Yeah! Back when this was a game and not my real life, this was the tutorial spot where they teach you how to do stealth kills. Like... Wow! Flashbacks! Emergency on demand. I don't know. Uh, too much, don't want to read. Let's 
too surreal coming back in here. Jeez. All right. Any other apartments on this level? Wasn't there also like an old lady that lives in one of these? Keep having to double check the, check the map. See if there's any more detail that I'm missing. It's awfully dark back here. Nothing worth checking out either. All right. Looks like I've seen all there is to see. Still really weird. Yeah, this is the exit. We came in through the other door and left through this one. And then took the elevator and got in my car. My car that's currently damaged. Speaking of damaged cars, I don't think I own a car that hasn't been damaged. I really need to save up for that tank. God, it is so weird being back here. I'm a free man, and I have the right to relax a little, don't I? I think your output would have something to say about that. You guys aren't going to miss that, are you? Because I'm not giving it back. Right then. Okay, well... Oh, there she is. I was really kind of hoping... It would pull a video game thing and despawn. So I could resummon it and it would be in better condition. Or maybe I could swap cars. Oh, it's missing a door! When did I lose the door? Oh, my poor car. Alright. No sense in ruining another vehicle. So we'll just... We'll just drive this one till it explodes, I guess. Which, if I keep driving it the way I have been, won't take too long. Exhibit A. Oh god, every time the... the gear changes over. Oh. It sounds like my car is coughing and hacking. Because it's on its last leg. Hey, watch. And then I go and do crap like that and make it worse. The handling on this thing is just way too uh, loose. And I don't know if there's a way to fix that. Other than get a different car. Oh my god, you had to do that. You just had to, to swerve in front of me. Good grief. Y'all are too slow. Yeah, the car is destroyed now. I don't really care. How much more damage I do to it. I can't do much more damage to it than I have already have. So I might as well have a little bit of fun. I 
I am rather impressed that the cops don't seem to care about me driving on the wrong side of the road or speeding or causing ve vehicle collisions. Like, they just don't seem to care. You only care when I hit a cop or when I hit another vehicle too many times in, uh, in a row. Is weird. Is really weird that they don't care more about like reckless driving and stuff. Oh. New coat, beanie, and whatever that other thing was. Something happened? Your shop? Oh, you're a junk shop. Still... Might not be, uh... Ew. No thanks. Might not be a bad idea to sell a few things. Especially ones I have no intention of wearing. Like, ever. Anything else I can give you? Uh, where's my junk? You can have all of my junk. Um. There we go. That's a little faster. And, yeah, that. I do not need that one anymore, although... Still nice having that zero cost ping. Really hope I can find a, a tier 5's ping that is zero cost. Alright, so episode 7. Where is it taking us? Looks like inside a ba building. Full of maelstrom. Can I get in there without making them mad? I mean, if I have to make them mad, I'll make them mad. Is it in the alley? No, that's not an alley. No, it says it's inside the building. And it's up a floor. Oh god. What is this place? And why are there so many people hanging out in such a dump? Wait, what? Right here, on the guardrail. Episode 7, the Maelstrom base from the start of the episode. What exactly are these episodes? What are you talking about? Like a television show? This world making TV series of itself? Hey there. Take a good look, cause this is the fucking future. Right. Take your word for it. Another elevator. Security? And Totentans. I don't know what that is. But, let's have a look around. And yet another really long elevator ride. Mercies for the weak. Sure. Ooh, interesting. I'm surprised this being a maelstrom uh, hotspot and me being, you know, the person who did what I did to maelstrom. I know what's waiting for me up there. Yeah, I'm surprised you guys aren't hostile. Not that it would do you any good. You're all just pawns. 
You know that, right? Nice artwork, dude. What on earth? Oh. It's just a microwave. Okay. Yeah. A little shocked you guys are actually allowing me to just kind of walk through here. No idea who I am or why I'm here. What business I might have. No questions, just... Oh, wow. This is not a view I ever expected to find. It's gorgeous. Anyways. Pistol. Nice. Money. Even better. What do we got? Uh... Crap, that's what we've got. Absolute crap. Let's see, how exactly do I want to go about doing this? It's not giving me a lot of options here. I don't have another E9 option. Uh, only four chances. Oh, and I misclicked. Oh, man. Ah, oh, I haven't failed that hard in a while. Contract. Get you need special tech to really hear your music, but tech can be built, right? Just send me the specs for your implants, and I'll arrange some cheap poly throwaways. Promise it'll be a knockout. Okay. How much did that up my money? 34. It's an okay amount. Not nearly enough for what I want, which is the Hellhound. What was the other one I was looking at? It was a truck, big truck. Emperor. 38. I'm actually close to that. Ugh. I don't know why that keeps happening. Or even what it is, but wow. That's almost more disorienting than the third person camera thing with the car. It's like somebody just hit the pause button on my entire existence. Alright, let's get back to the elevator. Why can't I sprint? Oh. More than one elevator. Okay, let's go to the next floor. Oh my god. I thought the lower level was bad. Holy crap. This ru this level is downright just falling apart and barren. But there's a nightclub in here. Really? Wow. A safe area, huh? Telling me I'm in a safe area means that if I screw up, it could very quickly turn hostile. This is so weird. So I'm guessing this 
club is the Totentates. Makes sense. Not a lot of loot. But there is a bar. And... Something I can hack? Ah, somebody's got a private office. Alright, let's see if I can redeem myself from that last terrible hack. Oh, this should be easy. There we go. Super easy. That should give me some more money. No messages on the terminal. Bummer. Still only 34. Oh god. Why does that keep happening? Ooh. New pair of knee-high boots. I don't think they fit me specifically, but they might work on V. Wait, what? I can dance? If you call this dancing, oh god. How do I make it stop? Please, how do I make it stop? Oh god, okay. Are you the bartender? You are the bartender. Hey there. Interesting place you got here. Interesting haunt, this totem dance. Old factory, isn't it? Uh-huh. What, no, no mood to small talk? You need something, or are you gonna keep fucking around? Alright, alright, let's use it. Use a drink. I'm invading your space, so I might as well, you know, at least buy a drink. Appreciate it. Thanks. <laughs> oh my god, where'd you make this stuff? The boot of your car? Oh. Oh my god. Okay, no, I get it. You gotta get the first sip down, and then the next one isn't so bad. Interesting place here. Interesting haunt, this totem dance. Old factory, isn't it? Uh huh. Pretty Why sure I already. Mood to small talk. You need something? Why are you gonna keep fucking around? <sighs> I think I'm just gonna leave. Cause apparently I can't stop myself from. I'll take a drink. Repeating okay. myself. Likewise, but hey, I can live with it. For now. But you try anything you shouldn't. I'll smash your skull against the wall. Got it? All clear. So, formalities all settled? Can we get to biz? Uh-huh. What will you have? Dear God, if that's how you respond to people wanting to buy alcohol from you, I can only imagine how you treat your friends. And I think I'll pass. Okay. I'm getting a lot more tier 5 clothes, which is kind of nice. I've got a lot more stuff to sell again. This is something I need to do in my off time. When I'm not currently trying to complete a task. Hey, coffee. Sure, why not? Hopefully that'll help get the alcohol out of my system. Or should I say, paint remover? So who's the band? I don't think there is a band. There's just a stage. But everybody on the stage is just dancing too. You know what? Now I'm the DJ. DJ V up in this place. 
with absolutely no skill whatsoever with social lingo or DJing at, at all. I'm just gonna take your shit and leave, okay? Okay. Let's go find episode 8. Hey. Sorry. Sorry. I'm clumsy. I think I've had about enough of the, of the uh... Maelstrom party life. as I could possibly handle cuz holy crap just not a comfortable environment to be in and again with the really long elevator ride I need to stop getting into elevators Right. Because overloading my brain with tech is so much better of an option. But where is... Are you guys gonna get mad if I walk through you? What the hell? I'm just... I'm just walking by. Oh, you didn't. Tell me you didn't. Oh, I'm not gonna repeat my... No, you're not. You're not gonna repeat a damn thing. And here, I thought I had a nice time. Even though I was in a bit of a hurry to get out. And just to add insult to injury, I'm gonna ruin your car... Instead of mine. Wait. What is that? Okay. I did not per give you permission to project noise in my head. Go away. You gonna turn on again? There. Alright. On to episode 8. Which is a bit of a distance, but what else is new? Oh, see, now I like this car. Oh, there's mine. You know what? I think... What is going on? I think I'm gonna go stop a robbery is what I'm gonna do. Damn it. Well, how about we try some of these? Like this one. Oh! Anybody in the mood for some meat fetty? Because that's what I call a party popper. Aw, oh, damn. You asshole, she was cute. Why do they always gotta kill the cute ones? You okay? Here, let me put my gun away. Everything alright? Alright, you're, you're safe now. I'm gonna go, okay? You have a nice day. I'm sure someone will be by to clean up the mess later. And... 
My poor car. My poor, poor car. You know what? I think you need a funeral. Goodbye, my friend. It was nice driving you. I'll see you later. Okay. Now, moving on. What? Is he lighting me up? Or just mad at me? Uh, rogue? V? Got to the bottom of Ebonica. Flicked pings to some contacts. Grace and Buzz familiar for a friend from the olden days. He did some digging. Found something. Section of the docks that's Maelstrom turf. Okay, where's that name come so from? So why are these docks called Ebonike? Pretty sure it's got nothing to do with some long dead mayor. Dead wrong, actually. It's not the docks. It's an old container ship named after the guy. So you found Grayson? You really got an in with Smasher? Come see me. Afterlife. We'll talk. Okay. Uh, yeah, sure. Be right there, just as soon as I'm done doing the thing I've been trying to do this entire time. You're not stopping me. Where was it? The tour. There we go. Episode 8. I don't appreciate you changing my objective on me. With a mere phone call. Now, what are these guys doing? Fanatics are wanted. I really like that. Grenades. So useful. The hell, speaking of which, what's with that? You trying to tell me my grenade is over there? I don't understand anything. So I'm just gonna get in my car and go. I say my car. I took it. It's the car I'm driving. It's my car. See, the tighter handling just seems to make it a bit easier to get around turns at high speeds. Or at least it gives me a little bit more time to slow down. Look at that. Okay, I have to actually turn the wheel in order to make a, a good turn. Can, can you, like, go? We're on an off-ramp for the freeway. Like, just leave. Get out of here. Who does 20 on an off-ramp? Okay, almost there. Was that the same person? I think that was the same person. And I think you need to be taught a lesson. All units in the area, we have an urgent situation in Westbrook. Excuse me. Don't they got corpse security there? Ah, ah, fine. No. On our way. Alright. Oh, it's right over here. Now that I've made the cops angry again. Oh, that's another bench. Let's have a seat. 
What do we got for chapter 8? Episode 8, the promenade sidewalk in Japantown where David goes for a walk with Rebecca. What? Okay, David I recognize. Who's Rebecca now? Like, my god, they just keep giving me these new names of people. And, like, I guess I'm just, just supposed to know who they are? Why are your hands up? Dude, I'm not robbing you. I just parked my car on top of somebody. All right. Episode nine. I better get something really good at the end of this. Because I'm so confused. Like, I get it. There, there are points of interest that are significant to David Martinez and his crew. But again, they're giving me information as if I'm supposed to know what the hell it's talking about. Like, oh yeah, this is where, where David and Rebecca went for a walk. Okay. Who's Rebecca? Why were they on a walk? And what's so significant about them going on a walk? Excuse me. Find your gas pedal, please. All nearby units, a new disturbance has been reported. I am just really... ...pissing off the police today, aren't I? Fuck. I just can't seem to not piss them off. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Initiating combat. Seriously? Wait, are they even shooting at me? I think they are. Whatever, I'm just gonna keep walking. Oh, hey. Hi. Uh... I'm here looking at something important to somebody. Look, can I just go inside? Or are you going to stop me? Look what the cat dragged in. I'll take that as a no. I mean, honestly, if she did try. What would I do? I'd probably force my way through anyways. So I'm not going to leave this quest unfinished. I've only got two more locations. And again, with the super long elevator ride. What is up with the super long elevator ride? Oh, hi. Well, ain't this just a swanky apartment? Open door? Or is it? Oh, you're not... Hmm... I get the feeling I'm not actually welcome in here. I don't see... anybody... Nobody's trying to shoot at me, that's what I'm trying to say. But security cameras? I, I, I really don't think... Security barricades? Something really tells me I'm not supposed to be in here. Alright, well, let's just find this locale and... those ah auto turrets yeah really don't think I'm supposed to be in here holy hay baskets
Why is everything so hostile? Alarm my butt. I blew it up. Okay. Tell me that was worth it for something. Episode 9, location used as Faraday's apartment balcony. Now who the hell is Faraday? There's another name I don't know. You know what? Just for that, I'm taking all your booze. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's a swanky place. Like the pool. Definitely not welcome here, though. I don't fully understand why this little adventure would take me somewhere so blatantly hostile. Whoa. Grenade upgrade. Nice. Now I don't have to waste components upgrading that one myself. The false rumor circling Busan. No. None of that shit. No alarm stuff. Oh, too long, not gonna read. Nice bedroom. Let's get some money. This, at least, I hope will make this worth my time. Uh... Oh boy. Oh, this is a problem. Um... There we go. That was a little too close. Did I get some decent money out of that at least? Messages. Emilio Gutierrez. I'll get right to the point. I'm sending you proof that my ex-husband was accepting bribes from corpos and in return pulled some strings in City Hall. To be honest, I didn't so much as glance at those files because I don't really give a crap, but I know you're one of those journos who gets a hard-on for any speck of dirt on a politician. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Alert, you have been attacked. Malware detected. Buy our product and save yourself a lot of headache. Yeah, not falling for that stuff. Okay, what's my money at now? 44. I have enough. I should buy the tank. I should really buy the tanky truck. If my quadro is, was, was any, any sort of, uh, example of why I should not be driving a sports car, I don't know what is, and I should really be driving a big hulking truck. That's gonna be all my money, though. Ah, I want it, but I don't, because I don't want to spend all my money. Ooh, hello. Okay, so. I want another computer. Nah, I don't care what's on it. I think it's time for me to leave. Back down the exhaustingly long elevator. What the hell? What just caused that to happen? You know what? This place is starting to freak me out. I think I'm just... Nope, nope, no questions asked. We're just leaving. Bye.
any day now. Why is this elevator so long? Why is every elevator I've gotten on today so long? Okay. One place left. Where did I leave my car? Replacement vehicle was provided. Oh! You're back! And it only cost me a hundred eddies! That's dirt cheap! Let's blow up another one! Let's see how long it takes me to completely destroy muscle car number two. I'm gonna wager not long at all. Give me about five seconds to find a car in front of me going slower than I am and it's all over. Okay. Actually, I am going to try... Oh! Keyword try to be a bit more careful. Oh my god, why are you all so slow? Don't you know the speed limit around here is ludicrous speed? Move! Okay. Wow, you guys really make this so much more annoying than it needs to be. Okay. Calm down. Why... Why is it telling me I have to go the other way now? Look out! Coming through! I'm not on my medication! I'm sorry! But you might want to move. So, that, that seems like a good parking job. Yep. Just gonna destroy the front end of my car again. It's okay. I've got plenty of money. I'll just replace it again. Okay, it's over here. Another bench. Final destination. Give me something good. Episode 10, the location of the final battle between the crew and Adam Smasher. Okay, there's a name I recognize. Some significance. Holy crap, it does exist. And the exit Falco uses to evacuate Lucy. Who is Lucy? Who is Falco? Again, no idea what any of these names mean. But... Finally got all ten locations. All ten locations and absolutely nothing to show for it. Can't even say I have any fond memories because I don't know what they're talking about!